How do? So, there's some violent individuals in the prison, prison system, you know, well known, infamous, whatever. Um, I want to talk about an incident. You, you can tell me in brief what happened and then I'm going to come in devil's advocate or tell you what I think was wrong about this incident. So, and how it played out. Yeah. Away you go. So it's before my time. Sam. Yeah. Great name, yeah. by the way. So it's before my time. So I'm not talking from first hand experience, but I've had a lot to do with it sort of following, you know, a couple of years after whatever. Camera footage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there was a lad, infamous lad, uh, been kicking off about something, been moved pretty much all over the jail, everywhere. Um, a decision was moved, to, uh, decision was made to take him to to Seg. Um, so they got. Why was he taking him to Seg? Good order. Yeah. Was yeah. it right? Good order is good order or discipline, right? So if you've got someone on a wing, is an handful, uh, potentially going to kick off or whatever. It can influence other people. Uh, might be extremely dangerous, might have fallen for assaulting staff. You can place them on good order. It's not a punishment, but you can remove them from a normal residential wing and house them in a segregation unit, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, like I say, decision was made to move him. They got <laughs> free staff who had no business being in there. Probably 95% of the population, never mind him. Right, just let me stop you. Why weren't they appropriate? Just to expand on that a little. Just... Look, everyone's trained the same as as you know. Yeah. For me, that's not a pass to just going on anyone and everyone. So I tell you, words of words of wisdom from my CNR instructor, my first one, Mick. If you ever see this, probably won't. But it was a good lad. So he had a couple of thoughts. Yeah. If you've got an incident, yeah. So it's not spontaneous. Something happens. This is a planned removal. You're going to move someone. He says one day, yeah. I'm getting people who are willing. So on K Wing did come, right, we got and people have volunteered, yeah, get yeah. kitted up, yeah. And willing willing people is is good. Yeah. And also appropriate. You know, a lot of incidents I went into, if I had a choice, I'd say, no, I don't want him. I want him or yeah, whatever. You're yeah. laughing now, yeah, but you know day. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Some people yeah, are up for it, some people are good at it. And I'm not talking about our bastards either. No. I'm talking about sometimes it's people who are switched on. Yeah. So if you're dealing with someone, they know how to talk to them, they're not going to escalate it. Yeah. And then Mick says one day, and then the other day he'd say, hold on a minute, fuck it. You know, you all get paid the same, you're all trained. Why should I go and get Sam to get kitted up again? Yeah, yeah. And Joe Bloggs over there, yeah, exactly, you know, yeah. sat. Yeah. So for me though, people go missing and all. For me, me if you've it. got someone who's infamous, maybe dangerous or whatever, yeah, you need appropriate staff. That's what we're yeah. saying. Into. Yes. Sorry Absolutely. to interrupt. Carry no, no. on. So yes, yeah, so they went in there, um, tried to de-escalate. It weren't happening for me at that point. I'd have just come away and shut the door. For me, uh, like as, as a manager, knowing what I know about the guy, knowing about the staff. So they've asked him to move. Yeah, he's refusing. The thing is, do you know if a, nine times out of ten, if a prisoner says something, yep. they're not going to do it, or you know they're full of shit, or you know they're not even capable of doing it. Prisoner knowledge is yeah. a good thing, isn't it? With him, everything that's going to come out of his mouth, he, he's he's probably going to do. You know who it is. Yeah, that you know, that's just a fact. Yeah, you've got. Now nah, I'm not saying anything bad, but you got a female on the shield. Again, let me explain. So, if if you had someone who was known to be dangerous and, you know, violent or whatever, you need appropriate staff. So, quite often, in a situation, plan removed, give me a shield, because I'm a big lad yeah. at the front. The shield man, yeah, now sometimes people would surrender. So, you go to a cell, they'd surrender, and you dictate what happens, what pace things go at, yeah. they would be cuffed for your safety and theirs, etc. Yeah, yeah. However, if it's going to be a fight, I'm going in with that shield to be proactive. Yeah. Maybe hit them um, mid chest or whatever, yeah. flatten them, that sort of thing. Yeah. In theory and practice, that's yeah, what's supposed yeah, to happen. Yeah. What I wouldn't do and I wouldn't have been happy with is following someone into a cell with a shield who was like yeah. part of the uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, yeah, you know, the yeah, Christmas yeah. pantomime crew. Yeah. So over to you now. So, yeah, just... Just so they, they've given a the last the yeah, shield. Yeah. So he's he's saying, you know, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. 
and they just went. What, what about the other two staff? Two big lads with her. Mm, I won't say big lads. Two, two capable two lads. people. Yeah, been got you know got a couple of years of experience in them at, at that point in time. Um, so why why is not one of the lads with experience on the shield? Scared probably. I know them both. I'm I'm gonna say scared, mate. Scared, yeah, scared. Not that said, who's scared. Um, and that yeah, that was it. They just went trotting in. What what happened? So the governor's talked to him. He's not the governor. There was a man at a, a com. So there was no yeah. governor present. Yeah. Um, she's sort of talking to him over the staff. The staff are also talking to him. Yeah. There's someone else there who is a proper. He deserves a fucking medal for what he did this day. Yeah. Um, he's talking to him. Nothing's happening. Yeah. For me, looking at it. And obviously, you know, we've got the, the beauty of eyesight. Just shut the door, come away. Yeah, you see, you're sensible. You know. You're a young lad, but sensible, yeah? There's no... But do you know what the worst thing is? I'm good mates with someone that was on that day yeah. who worked in the SEG at the time. Yeah. And he told me the people that... The SEG were locked up because this yeah. was done sort of like last, you know, sort of last orders. There were some hard fuckers in that day. Why not just get them down there? All right, you're probably not going to have a walk in the park, but it's going to be a lot easier and a lot safer yeah, you, you than get what you had going. Yeah, Prisoner yeah. knowledge is everything. Um, yeah, and then they went in. What? So the managers said, so go in. <laughs> get him, take him, whatever the words was used, and they went in and, there. And they just stood there at the side of the manager. Yeah. Again, you, you know, I'm thinking of situations. If you've got someone who's dealing with that or who is orchestrating it yeah you might have your team off to one side yeah. you've got a governor maybe somebody cnr instructor one of the seg lads saying look we, we need to move you on good order we'd rather you just pack oh, your stuff yeah, and yeah, move or whatever yeah. like you say fuck off i'm not moving you shut the door just risk assess it again yeah just, just look what what can we do what and that's not being a lot of, a lot of the, the a lot of the problems with like the prison service is like snobbery and that like bravado image of being look the, you can't run into a burning building every day and survive. No, no question. Sometimes no. you've got to come Pick away. Your battles. Yeah, you've got to come away, look at it, and go right. In actual fact, this ain't gonna work. So these three staff go in. Yeah, and what happens? They got fucking leathered meat. Got did. Um, they got fucking leather. Got bastard. the sh shield took off. Yeah, the individual with the shield was a female. The young Had lass, some yeah. uh, some life changing injuries to her face. Uh. They got battered, didn't they? Yeah, they got yeah, they got battered. Me. What happened to the manager? Did obviously the manager get stuck in and help so, them? Yeah, he ended up coming out onto the landing, and yep. um, he's got the shield in his hand. And this the guy that I said about who deserves a medal. Yeah. Uh, he stepped in, got stuck right. He was a big lad, I think ex army. Yeah. He he just fucking just knew. It was, they were it was having on, a bit. Of... It was it was game on. So, so basically, like, th these three three staff all got injured, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was highly inappropriate. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't have happened. Nah. Um, we're going to leave it there. Yeah, there is ways and means of doing things. There's having appropriate staff, uh, good managers, good managers of everything. Yeah. Sam the man. All the best. All the best, dude. Thanks for coming, Alcide.